Hey guys, let's check out Ampus Sound China Woodwind. And we have a couple of instruments here. We have the Dong Xiao and the QD, and I really hope I pronounce it correctly. I actually have one of those here, never been able to play it. So hopefully I'll get that sorted out with the instrument. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how they sound and all those articulations and all the special ornaments that we can get from those instruments. Right, so that was the Dong Xiao, and this one is a more full and sort of more low key. And we also have the QD, which is more of a soprano kind of a flute. So let's hear this one. Right, so let's go through the user interface real quick. And then we'll do some more examples of the sounds and we'll do a bit of uh, playing with some other uh, plugins. So we'll get some creative stuff going. So first of all, of course, we have the keyboard on the bottom here. But what is important with these instruments are the key switches. So all these key switches here will give you different articulations and ornaments for the playing so for example just dive right into something if i go for this one you'll also see that we get a little bit of uh, information about it this is a pentatonic run app so let's do that and right once you play any of those uh, key switches you will get switched back to the sustain and this, that one is c0 the sustain so that that's how it sounds sort of the normal playing and let's try another one let's have a grace up and you can actually use this with a keyboard of course so uh, it runs from c0 and up to d2 and i'm using uh, another small keyboard here you don't see it but i'm using it it's easier for me because my keyboard is uh, 49 keys i don't have the full range but of course you can also program this when you're programming midi and we also have the sustain pedal here you can see the uh, lighting in yellow and that's double legato mode Right, and we have some other stuff going on here. So first, uh, on uh, the left here, we have the instrument or keyboard mode. And well, the big difference is because this instrument, right, this one is um, sort of a flute and you don't have the ability to play chords or two notes at a time or anything like that. So if you go to keyboard mode, then you're now playing like a, with a keyboard. Right, so it really depends on what it is that you want to do. You don't really have to use this instrument as a traditional Chinese flute. Let's go back to instrument mode here. And then we have legato mode and we have the slide or the legato mode. And we can slide this. And we also have sample loop. So all the, all, all, all the sounds that we hear, all those articulations are sampled that are layered on top of whatever you're playing and they will eventually stop. But if you want to loop them, you click this and now you're in a sort of a loop mode. So let's see how that sounds. All 
Right, and finally, we also have randomization of those key switches or articulations. All right, so I'm just gonna play and you'll see that we're getting different assignments here. Cool, right? So if you want to spice up your playing, as long as you're uh, playing, you will st still keep those uh, switches. But once you get your fingers off the keyboard, it will go into another articulation. And that's the idea here. And then in the middle here, we have some mixing options like mixing the miking. We have mid, front, back. We have ambience. We have the master. We have also panning. And here we have the key. So right now, this instrument is in the key of G. I can set it to C because that's my backing track here. And then we also have expression. I don't have an expression uh, um, pedal actually, but you can set this. And then we also can mix in the effects. We have release, the sound of the air releasing. We have breath and we also have the sound of the wind. So we can mix all of that and create that kind of special sound for what we are looking for. And in addition to all of that, we also have the um, options here up in, uh, in the top. So here we have four different effects or uh, um, options to uh, shape the sound even further. We have a compressor and it's turned off right now. Let's turn it on. Right, and we can actually see how the compressor works. This is really, really great. And we have the attack and release here. And of course, EQ, just a simple EQ here. And then we have two more artistic kind of uh, effects. We have echo, it's a, it's a multi-tap echo. And then we also have reverb, which sounds great. So all of that together will give you all the options you need to shape your sound. So let's go back to the main view here. And now let's go through some of those articulations just uh, to get you going here. So I'm going to go back to normal mode of playing and we'll start with the sustain. And then we have the next one is a repeated tonguing. So when you're playing a flute, you can use your tongue to create those uh, sounds. And I'll just remove the randomization here. Let's go back. Right, that's bursting. Then we have grace up. We have grace down. And we have pentatonic up and down. And we have sort of a ripple here. And ripple again, but this one with a bit of trembling. And this will be an impulse blow. Next, we have scattering up and down. And impulse legato. Let's hear how that sounds. Right. And then we have some expression. Uh, well, again, this will be uh, played with, uh, you know, with the key switch on and you'll get different velocities here with the uh, wolf tone. Mm -hmm. 
Next we have vibrato and this will be very common. And we have a trill. Next we have flutter. And some of those articulation, you want to wait for it, right? So it doesn't always come right at the beginning. These samples, I think they are about a few seconds long, maybe eight seconds or so. So it, it might take time for you to reach that uh, point. Next, we have sort of a marking. So let's just hear it. Sort of a layering on top of a run up and then we have the other one going down sliding up and sliding down and we have a uh, sferanzo let's keep that one on let me keep it on Right. And then we have some wolf tone, which is new to me. I didn't know that this one is called wolf tone. Let me know in the comments if you're aware of that. Next, we have the sliding out and downwards. And we have an impulse release. And then we have some lick. So this is uh, kind of different from all of the others. So it's a bunch of licks running and you, I mean, you can just uh, search and try them out and see which one you like. And then you can play there all over the keyboard. And the final one is special also. It's a sort of a, um, going on and off automatically. This one is mirroring whatever note you're playing or whatever phrase you're playing. So you can keep that one. So let me try this one up. All right, so it's it's just mirroring whatever you're playing. So that's the basic idea here, and the same goes for the QD. It's the same controls, everything is the same. The sound is obviously different. So let's finish up this video with some more examples of how you can take these flute, uh, flutes actually, and turn them into something uh, different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, try out something that I really like. I'm going to send them into Replica. That's a really nice sort of uh, delay reverb. And then uh, I'm going to put something special here. So I'm going to put Neo. And Neo is a UGEM effect. It's a, it's a multi-effect actually. So check my channel for more information about the finisher Neo, what it does, it will take the sound and get really creative with it. So let's hear how that sounds. I'm going to move things around a bit. Right. And what I like about this plugin, by the way, is all those little things that can take whatever you're playing and turn it into something that you never expected. So let's try this preset.
Right, and that was the Ampusound Woodwind Flutes. We have, again, two of them. We have currently the Dongxiao and the QD. And again, let me know in the comments if I got it right. If you're from China or you know how to pronounce that, let me know in the comments. Of course, like the, the video if you like it so far and let me know what else do you think I should go and review from Ampusound. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks and bye-bye.